Hey, welcome to the Family Blend. My name is Matt Perkins. And I'm Carrie Crane Perkins. Hey, it's great that you have joined us. We are on part three, uh, talking about the song, I Will Sing. And uh, so if you haven't checked that out, you can catch up on the first couple days. And you can also subscribe and hit the notification and stay tuned for the next number of days that we have as we're going to be talking about this song that we had just recorded. Mm -hmm. Today, we're talking about your word won't return empty. And in that verse, why don't you read this, uh, that line in that verse for us? Um, it, uh, this verse says, I need to hear your voice speaking to silence all my doubts. Your word won't return empty. You will break through every darkness. You know, thinking of each of those lines, I need to hear your voice. Mm-hmm. Today, you might be walking a road that you just say, God, I need to hear your voice. I've got some decisions I need to make in my business or decisions in the home. I need to hear your voice speaking to silence doubts. I think um, for for me, uh, this spoke to me in in a way of um, when I was having doubts in my head about how was I going to be the one to carry our family? How was I going to be the one to... um, you know, to keep the boys on track or to know what was the next steps in our life and um, in my life. And um, I felt like it was, I need to hear your voice. It needs to be louder than what my doubts and what what I was um, hearing, creating in my head, the self-talk I was having. And I just was surrendering, God, okay, I need to hear your voice. I need to hear what you're saying and what your purpose is, not what the doubts and the fears yeah. that was were flooding through my mind. Yeah. You know, in Isaiah 55, verses 8 through 11 in the NIV, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. As high as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways higher and my thoughts higher. Mm-hmm. And then he goes on to talk about how the, the rain and the snow come down to water the earth, water the soil, and it has a specific purpose to accomplish. And so it provides seed to the sower, it provides bread to the eater. And it says, so it is that my word, as it goes out from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent. You know, whatever you might be walking through today, it's important for us to have kind of the mind of Christ and how we can take a step back and say, God, right now I'm looking at this and it's so close, my view, that I can't, you know, the old saying, I can't see the forest for the trees. Uh, I've got so much going on right now, I don't know how to process everything. But having his view on it, you know, he looks at everything in, in a different, different angle. Uh, in cameras, you know, a specific lens will have a different point of view. And as you put that in that, that angle, well, God's angle, he's seen the whole picture. We see this much, he sees the whole picture. And so you may be doing some doubting, some self-talk of saying, God, I don't see how you're going to work through this situation. But if I hear your voice, then I can rest and know you can silence my doubts. Your word, it won't return empty. Maybe you need to, to claim some promises that God has plans to prosper you, not to harm you plans for a hope and a future, as we've shared in in some of the other uh, videos, I believe that there is hope for your situation. And that's what we want to do. We want to inspire hope after loss and through life and love, that there's hope in your situation, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of the doubts that you're telling yourself, Mm -hmm. that his word won't return empty. He will break through all of those silence and he will accomplish his desires, and his purpose in your life. One thing that you can do today, maybe it's now, whatever time you're listening, maybe you're up late and you're watching YouTube videos and you don't even know how you came across this video. But one thing you can do right now is just by praying a simple prayer that says, God, in my family, 
in my home, in our marriage. Help us to seek your desires. Help us to seek your purposes in life that you would silence the doubts that we have. The doubts like, I don't think we can make it. Uh, This is too big of a struggle, too big of a hill or a hurdle that we can't cross. Or I'm not strong enough. Yeah, that we know that through him, that we are enough, that Mm -hmm. he can break through each of those. And then saying, God, help us to remember that you are seeing our situation from a different point of view because your thoughts are higher than ours. So today, whatever you're facing, we just want to encourage you. There is hope for your situation. We want to connect with you. And if there's ways that we can help, leave a comment below and uh, or connect with us on social media, Facebook. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications so that you are aware of some upcoming devotions that we have. So thanks so much for watching.